Welcome to the Art Gallery of Algoma's Inspired by Joy series. Today we will be creating art inspired by Desiree Watson's work, Gold Upon Grieving. Desiree uses pieces of broken plywood to create stunning three-dimensional works of art that explore hidden textures in the wood, and she works to create balance and harmony to the broken pieces. Here's what I'm going to be using to create my work, inspired by Desiree's Gold Upon Grieving. I'm starting with some cardboard. This is what I'm gonna to use to replace the plywood in Desiree's work. Now I'm using thick cardboard, like from a box or a package. If you decide to do this project yourself at home, you can also use thinner cardboard or paper even if it's too hard to rip. I'm also gonna be using glue. I'm using some white glue, just some craft glue. But if you're very careful, you can also use hot glue for this project. Lastly, I also have some scissors some paint brushes, some water, and some rags to clean off my brushes. If you're doing this project at home, you may also want some newspaper or some type of drop cloth to keep your work surface clean. There are a couple of ways to do this project. You can either paint your cardboard before you rip it up, or you can rip up blank cardboard, assemble it, and paint it afterwards. You can also mix these techniques together like I will be doing for my project. In Desiree's work, the painted lines are very straight and layered on top of each other horizontally and vertically. I'm going to do one piece of cardboard in a similar style, and another I'm going to experiment a little bit more with some curved lines and different shapes. If you do this project, I encourage you to experiment with different types of lines and how you choose to layer them. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to start to rip them up along with some pieces of cardboard that I left blank. If you're having a hard time ripping the cardboard, use a pair of scissors to cut a small slit in the cardboard and use it as a starting point to make ripping a lot easier. Now that I have my cardboard ripped up, I'm gonna take some time to arrange them on a cardboard rectangle that will act as my base. I'll keep moving them around and swapping out pieces to see what I like best and what feels the most balanced. Once I've got an idea of how I want my pieces to go, I'm gonna start gluing them down to my base. If you're using white craft glue for this project, it's best to use a thin layer and then hold the two pieces you are gluing together down for about 10 seconds. I like to use a paintbrush to spread my glue so that I don't have any big globs of glue and I cover all the areas that I need to attach. As I'm gluing the pieces down, I'm also making small changes along the way, switching out pieces or adding and removing pieces if I feel something doesn't quite look right or if an area looks too heavy with one color. I'm also looking at how my pieces look three-dimensionally. If I want a piece to stand out more, I'll cut up some small pieces of cardboard to glue in layers so that when I glue a piece onto it, it sticks out more. When I'm done assembling the piece, I'm gonna let the glue dry. And then I have some parts that I wanna fix up, so I'm gonna go back and add some final touches with my paint. And there it is, my work inspired by Desiree Watson's Gold Upon Grieving. <laughs>